Hey there, today I want to talk about five awesome free resources that you can use for Marvel Crisis Protocol to help improve your experience with the game on a few different levels, including a new dice app and maybe a not so free honorable mention. My name is Nate and welcome to the Gamers Guild. Alright, so this is one of several Welcome to MCP videos to come out alongside some rules videos and other guides and whatnot at the beginning of 2022. But this video can be just as helpful to people who have been playing the game but just didn't know about these different resources out there that the community has made available. Uh, so, before we dive in though, I do want to go ahead and give shout outs to the guild sponsors, Tritex Games out of the UK and War Room Hobbies here in Tennessee. Both are great local gaming stores that have game nights and are supporting their local communities. So, if you are shopping online anyways, please consider using them as an option to support an LGS instead of a big box company like Amazon. And to help beat those prices, I have some codes that will save you even more off of their already discounted ones. If you use the code TritexGGCP5 at checkout, you'll save an extra 5% off from Tritex's MCP selection. And if you use the code MCP2022 at War Room Hobbies online shop, you save an extra 10% off of your order. And if you're already shopping from your LGS, do that. We, like, they all support it. They are LGSs, we understand. Uh, but are still wanting to support the Guild's videos or podcasts that we're starting to put out, check out our Patreon page. For as little as a dollar a month, or for $12 for a year, you can help us continue to put out content for this wonderful game. And finally, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the monthly giveaway we have here thanks to Tritex. All you need to do to enter is comment on a video that is within its current release month and be subscribed to the channel. Alright, now let's get into the list, and in no particular order whatsoever, uh, the first thing I want to mention is the Marvel Crisis Protocol Facebook page and specifically the files section of that page. Now, if you didn't even know that such a section existed, well, no one would blame you because you have to dig for it a little bit. On the main page, click on the More tab, and there you can find the files page. And on here, there are several great resources. You can find the rule cheat sheets that cover all the phases, the resolution and order of effects, uh, token data sheets that have pictures of every single token in the game with an attached description so you know what the many, many different tokens represent or do. As well, there are some really cool resources that you can print out to add to your models or terrain, whether that is a Daily Bugle newspaper added to Spider-Man's base, or maybe some anti-mutant propaganda to be slapped on the side of some terrain. Not to mention some other off the just the other offerings that the file section has. And if you are by chance one of the people who has added to these materials, thank you for your efforts and making them easily accessible to the community. You are awesome. Next, I want to talk about the Across the Bifrost Nexus. This is a website that has compiled several of the different content creators across MCP and put them all into one convenient spot. It has blogs, podcasts, videos, and more. So if you're looking for more MCP content, this can be a great resource to find more options in different mediums as well. I'm going to list a few recommendations you can find on the site, but at this point there's just too much content to try and consume it all, which is a good problem for the game to have, I think. Uh, the Clinic is a great resource for, for beginners with weekly articles that give some great ideas of where to start a collection with the different affiliations with his 3box articles. If you're looking for event write-ups, go and check out Web Warrior Protocol's blog. And at this point, there is a crazy number of podcasts, so it really depends on what you were looking for out of the game and the content you're listening to. If you enjoy what this channel offers up, then I would recommend, well, the Gamers Guild podcast, but also House Party Protocol and Across the Bifrost. If you want some lore digging in your reviews and tactical talk, Fury's Finest and Recalibration Matrix offer up that really nicely. Then if you're wanting some more competitive approaches, you can look at the Danger Room and Strike Better. If you're looking for more battle reports, I cannot recommend enough Ozark Gladiators and Blackfire Productions, who are also both on YouTube. So, if you're looking for more MCP content, I guarantee you it's out there. 
now, before I get to my third recommendation, I do want to give a shout out to this honorable mention that really should have gotten plugged back in November when I made a video about some of the great non-AMG products that could improve your MCP experience. Unfortunately, I didn't know about this at the time, and that is the War Chest Creations Table Border. The idea is something really simple and that I've been looking for since the game launched because many people like myself coming from any other minis games might have a 4x4 mat or a 6x4 gaming mat already. This tool lets you convert your map into the size you need for a Marvel Crisis Protocol table, which is of course that 3x3 space. For my battle ports previously, I have been using a piece of fabric with a 3x3 square cut out of it, but it was hardly consistent and definitely not something I would want to take to the game store. So this is a wonderful addition, and if you want to, you can even pick up the option to have some of the MCP core rules inscribed onto the border as quick reference. Uh, if you want a better look at the table border in action, check out the battle report that came out today as well. It's a special one to say the least, but this is really just a nice thing to have in the toolbox from Etsy. And the creator is also really awesome. If you talk to him, have a special request, just message him. He was very accommodating with my order. Getting back to the free resources, I want to talk about a new MCP Dice app that is really cool. You can find the link down in the description, like any of the other things I'm talking about today. And this is a great tool if you are trying to understand how to optimize some of your matchups on the table, or just to see how lethal one of your characters can be. You plug in the info that is relevant for both the attacker and defender, and it will give you a chart of first the estimated number of hits you can get, and the average of how much actual damage you will push through those defenses. So, if you want to know how much better an attack with Pierce is, or Loki when he uses I am a god, this is a great tool for getting to know your dice pools a bit better, and what you can reasonably expect to happen on the table. Though, as always, dice will be dice, and never seem to really want to be reasonable. But this is the tool I used when I showed off the graphs in my Juggernaut review a couple of weeks ago. So if you really enjoy some of the dice math or want to learn about some of the extra choices you may have in the game, it's a great resource. Uh, in addition to the link to this dice app, I also have left the email of its creator. Uh, if there are any abilities or functions that you want to see added, just let them know. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is a tool that is great for event organization and participation, and that is Longshanks. If you're unfamiliar, it is a website that you can run a tournament or event through for free and really easily. Red Sam is a member of our community and has been super responsive to some of the general feedback listed, including some of my own because this is what I use to run NashCon as well as my smaller events throughout the year. And for Longshanks, that's about all I get out of it. But if you're interested in earning badges, achievements, and possibly even global rankings, well, it offers all of those things as well. The badges and awards are based on everything from win streaks to a number of games played with different affiliations, so you can grind out some badges just if you are wanting to represent your affiliation, or maybe even show how diverse your team palette is. Or you can try to take claim of different affiliations as the number one player for that one. I won't talk too much about the rankings because I honestly have no idea how that side of the stuff works, but it, if it is something you're interested uh, in, just run with it. Go play some games, find some events. Uh, the other really nice thing though about Long Sinks is that if a player or event as a whole doesn't want to have anything to do with the rankings and ratings and all that, uh, there's actually a setting where they can turn that function off basically. So. Again, if you want to go grind some achievements, you can do that, but also if you want to just go to a local event and play some games without an online record or whatever else, that's an option as well. And now the final resource I can recommend to you all is a list building website called Cerebro MCP. At this point, there are not a plethora of list building tools for Marvel Crisis Protocol, but Cerebro has a very simple one that you can use after making a free account. It will let you sort through all of the character, tactic, and crisis cards and easily add them into your roster. And the best part in my opinion is after you build the list, there is a clean export button which throws up a copy of your roster that you can easily then copy and paste to print out for an event, send to a friend to brew up some crazy ideas, and so on. 
It also has some additional resources like a character sheet that could be printed out to track what is actually getting used in your roster, which is kind of a cool way to see what characters or tactics you might end up wanting to replace if they're never seeing the table anyway. As well, if you're trying to build a squad for the three box league and are hunting for a specific tactic card, you can look up the card and see what expansion it came from. And with the fifth of my five recommendations done, that is all I have for today. If you have enjoyed my thoughts and are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for a weekly dose of MCP content in the form of reviews, battle reports, and more. As well, you can find the Guild's podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and other websites. Uh, the first two episodes are out, and I am joined by Will Schick and Will Pagani, the developers of the game, who then break down their process of building a roster. Uh, it was great to get to kind of hear their rather just really different thought processes when it comes to building a roster. And if you haven't given them a listen, uh, give it a shot. Uh, as well, just thank you to all the members of the Guild Hall who are supporting this channel through Patreon. If that's something that you can afford to do or want to do, uh, we are always humbled when somebody uh, jumps on with us. So uh, thank you all for watching, though, and until next time, keep on gaming. <laughs>